Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrong, and I am reaching out to the student body. It is that time for us to start this new class, Networking 1, CCNA, version 7. So I wanted to first introduce myself to you. You probably don't know me, but this is Professor Sistrong, and I have been teaching here for a long, long time. Too long to talk about. But I also wanted to give you a heads up on what we will be going through in this class. This is one of the CCNA version 7 classes that has to deal with networking. So I wanted to give you a brief introduction to it and then start the discussion questions where you can begin to get the class going. Now, a few maintenance tips. First and foremost, you know that the class runs at 6 p.m. to 8.50 Eastern Standard Time. So that means make sure that you show up to the sessions. And it's important that you show up to the sessions because that's when you'll be getting some of the key information and we will have a discussion about the course itself. It's many things that I'm going to show you in this particular section about what you should be working on and getting prepared. But the most important thing is that you need to know this is your introduction to networking through the CCNA version 7 program, or as we like to say for short, Cisco. I need you guys to be prepared. Now, it's important that you understand that because you have a lot of work to do, but it's not hard work. It just means that you must not miss an assignment and you should stay on top of the assignments. So let's move to the next thing and what's important for you to focus on. The first thing is this. I'm going to have a discussion about th these three subjects today. And the reason I'm going to talk to you about these three subjects today, because when we meet Monday, we want to make sure everybody is on point and up to what they need to do to be successful in this course. So make sure you show up Monday. There will be a link coming to you, a Zoom link, and you should be able to see the Zoom link in the syllabi. My first thing is this, when you log into your course, the course is open now, make sure you go through the syllabi. I'm going to stress that in the class when we meet, and I'm also saying it now. Read through the syllabi. I find that students who have problems in the class is because they don't know or understand or have not went through the syllabus. But the three things I want to focus on is I relearn. Netacad and NDG Net Labs. Now, I'm going to go from the assumption that you don't know anything about any, any one of these, which I know you do, so just bear with me. I like to start out like that because I want students to make sure that I'm explaining everything to them so they can just look at it like, Professor, we know it's good, you know, but I went over the subject. And the first one we're going to start with will be Ivy Learn. Then we're going to go into Netacad, and then we're going to go into NDG Net Labs. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so what I did was I went and logged into the course. You know this well, so I didn't have to walk through the steps in order for you to figure out what it said. This is your Ivory Learn. This is where you go to do all of your course work. What I'm going to do is click on the student version so you will see it exactly how you would see it when you log in. So as you can see it jump to the, the student version. Now you will not see this pink or light blue label down here but this is exactly what you will see. What's important, Professor? What's important? 
Well, the first thing that's important is make sure you show up to the Zoom session. In here, you have a Zoom link. I'm not gonna click on it because this is gonna be on my YouTube page, but in this Zoom link, make sure that you use this Zoom link for the entire class because that's how we will meet and log in with each other. The second thing is you have these labels over here on the side. Make sure you check out the announcements, the syllabus, the discussion, module, assignments. Go through each one of them. It's important that you go through them. And when you want to get to net Netacab, which we're going to talk about next, you can just click right here and it'll take you over there. Now, I want you to understand something. I have already built your Netacad account. It was sent to your personal email. The reason I sent it to your personal email instead of your college email is because that Netacad email will be tied to your record as long as you doing work in Cisco. Like for myself, I do a lot of things in Cisco, but I'm not tied to any particular university, college, or organization because Cisco used that as your account set up so that will go with you for the rest of your life. And you may leave Ivory Tech one day and get one of them plus jobs out there. And you need to make sure that you can always get back into this account so they will always use your account so I use your personal email account now if you don't want me to do that let me know and I'll change it because it's important that you know that that's how it is now some professors if you already have a Netacad account we'll talk about it in the session and then we'll just move take you out of this and move you over into that one but for now you in your personal email so check your personal email you should have received something from Cisco about joining this class okay but with that said we're gonna go to Netacad in a minute let's stay focused on this so as you can see here these are the important things the third thing that's important is that you click on the syllabi students read your syllabus some students don't do it we do not have that long in this class and we need you to get jump started immediately okay so that's Netacad you're gonna see I mean this is Ivory Learn you will see on the side the different work you will have to complete the discussion question will be this here I am gonna send this out to you today in an email link it will be coming to you via Ivory Tech so remember everything we do so far now will be Ivory Tech email it's just that I connected you with Netacad through your personal email but everything else must come through Ivory Tech and I explain that when we meet in the discussion okay we will be meeting soon people so get ready now this is Ivory Tech I'm gonna move forward because I don't want this to be too long the next phase that we will go through after Ivory Tech is Cisco Networking Academy we call it Netacad for short in here what you will have to do is you will do all of your exams now I'm gonna go back to IP learn because it's some important I want to point out but this is critically important right now when you log in here you will read your chapter and I'm gonna show you that in a second and you will do your exams check your syllabus because when you see the day you have to do the exams, that's the day you'll come in here and do your exam. But to get to your course material, your book, what you have to read, you must come in here and click on here. Now, just so you know, I have this tied to knowing exactly when you are in here. So as you can see right now, this is chapter one, and you have approximately 17 chapters in here to go through. Make sure you read the material because I am tracking everything you do in here. And if I see you not reading the material, you're gonna see in the syllabus, that can be critical to the outcomes. 
Now, in here, you will find all your assignments. So as you can see right here, they have links in here. So this assignment is a packet tracer. When you are in your I relearn, I'm gonna click on assignments. You will notice that you have work that you have to do in here. It's important, it's important that you know that in here, your work is in here, but if you don't see it in here, which you shouldn't, you will always find it in here inside of your Cisco course. So you can't come to me and say, hey, professor, professor, I don't know what a lab said. I don't know what a packet tracer said. Uh, you don't. It's in either Net I Relearn or Netacad. It's in one of the two. So make sure you pay attention to that. But you have to go through the material. Now, what we're doing as professors, we're consistently tracking everything that a student read in here. So when it's a video right here, we're tracking to make sure that the students are reviewing the videos. So make sure, buyer beware, read the book. And this is your book. Okay, let's go back over here. So now, once you get through reading the chapters, as you can see, module one to three, you get through reading that chapter. If I go back here, you're going to see one, two, three. Once you get through with those chapters, then all you have to do is then complete the assigned exam and the labs and the packet tracers on that particular day. But don't worry, if you're a little bit confused about what you have to do, when we meet, I'm gonna go into a detailed explanation. I'm just giving you an example right now, a heads up. So make sure you check your personal email for the link for this account here. It's called Cisco Networking Academy. Make sure you check it. So the next and last thing I need to get you on top of and this I will get you on top of the day you show up to class. Now remember, I'm sending you a Zoom link, so you shouldn't have a problem with showing up to class. And if you don't receive a link, you know all you have to go down to go into NetLabs and click on the link here. Here's Zoom, you click on that, that will give you the link. Okay? Okay, so back to NetLabs. Now, NetLabs is a third-party application where we want you to go in there and do your labs. Now, students, it's important that you understand this. Every lab, every packet tracer have questions and answers that you need to fill out. And I'm going to stress that in some of the labs, I'm going to say, when you do the work, not in some of them, all of them, when you do the work, give me a screenshot and paste it right on to that particular lab so I can see that you've done the work and I can check it against what you're doing here. So when you go in here, you're going to reserve. Now, don't worry about this. I'm going to explain all this to you, but you're going to reserve a lab. And once you reserve it or reservation, <laughs> as they say, all you will have to do is just go in there and look at the labs. Now, here's your course here. It's already together. And here are all the labs that you will be doing. So make sure you understand. Once you do this lab, you have to fill out the paperwork and upload the paperwork into I Relearn. And if that's not clear, when you show up to the class, I will show I will go through it again. But I want those screenshots on the paperwork so I can see that you did the work. I'm expecting everybody to honor that. And if you don't, you're gonna see me send you an email saying zero and you didn't do the work. So I wanted to keep this short because I want you to focus on these three things. Right now, when we meet, and you should be looking at your actual course readout to know exactly what time we meet, exactly what days we meet. I shouldn't have to tell you that, and that's why I'm not telling you because I wanna see who won't actually show up. But pay attention to this, make sure 
you go into I we learn get as much as information you can out of there then from there you want to go into Netacab to get your account make sure you can get into your account and do the work and from there when we show up to me I'm gonna build out for you uh, NDG net labs and I retech so if you looked at that first screen you saw the email I mean excuse me you saw the web page to all of the web page address to all of those screens I will see you in class soon with that being said this is professor Sistrunk. I'm checking out and I will see you in class